hi guys welcome back to another video and this is the video where i will discuss the cap germany interview question this is the part four uh, the three parts has been already released and i got a very good feedback for for those questions and these are also like uh, questions which are shared by cap germany interview uh, like uh, the interviewee the candidate himself with me and uh, like these questions are mainly on microservices and sql because of the length of the video i have created four separate part to discuss all the questions and make sure you like this video if you like this if you want to watch this type of content more and it will be very helpful for your interview preparation in this video i will discuss some more questions on uh, uh, microservices the first question we have here is uh, did you got a chance to use Hystrix as well? So Hystrix is a library which which is provided by Netflix uh, to achieve the circuit bre breaker design pattern. So how you can implement the Hystrix? There is a library. You have to add that library uh, which is available in the Spring Cloud and uh, which is a component of Spring Boot. So Hystrix is a library from Netflix and we we can use that library and we can use that uh, like in, add that in pom.xml or build.gradle file. So it is Spring Cloud Starter Library. So when uh, like uh, Spring Cloud Starter Hystrix, so we use this library and it's a latency and fault tolerance library. So whenever any fault coming like fault coming in your application, you can use that to achieve the fault tolerance. Uh, so it will stop the cascading failure and enable resilient in the uh, distributed system. So there are like two features of this Hystrix. One is fallback method and one is circuit breaker. So it will break the circuit whenever any any like service is down or anything or you can also create some fallback method also using this library. So there are annotations available uh, to write the fallback methods and history commands and all so by using those methods by writing those fallback methods you can achieve fault tolerance so whenever false is occurring you can instead of uh, like uh, uh, stopping the whole process you can give the uh, the response to the end user the response met uh, like default method execution will happen and it will give the response to the end user that uh, this particular service has been down so you need to stop the further request as well now the uh, Strix project has been deprecated from the Spring Cloud. So there are new options available like Resilient 4J is available. It is a new option for Spring developer to implement the circuit breaker design pattern. But companies are still using the Spring Cloud Strix as well. And it is used to provide the latency and fault tolerance uh, for your uh, application. All right, so now I will go to the next question and the next question we have is just like uh, uh, rest template we have fain client as well. What is that? So do you know what is rest client? Uh, sorry rest template rest template is used to have communication between uh, two different microservices. Okay, so in the simplest term fain is used to generating the rest client fain should be used to create clients for our own microservices. Okay, so which are registered on our discovery server uh, using a service name. So there are annotations like enable fang client or enable uh, client. These are some annotations which are used while using. So uh, these are the some annotations. I have I will paste it here. So these are the annotations which are which has been used in uh, to use the fang client. And fang can also be used to create clients which talks to the external server services. And by the way, when I say fang clients, I mean a mechanism by which one method endpoint talks to another endpoints. I like. Okay, so hope uh, this will help you. Let me go to the next question. And the next question is, uh, what about REST template? Which all methods of REST template you have been used? So REST template is a way uh, which, by which uh, two or multiple microservices which uh, will communicate with each other in synchronous way. So there are multiple methods which are available in the REST client. So first of all, you need to create the instance of REST client. So if we talk, if I talk about the REST template methods, REST template method, there are various methods which are available. 
लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू यूज गेट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परफॉर्म एनी गेट ऑपरेशन दैर इज गेट फॉर एंटिटी और गेट फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट मेथड इज देर एंड फॉर पोस्ट ऑपरेशन वी हैव पोस्ट फॉर एंटिटी पोस्ट फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट देन फॉर पैच वी हैव पैच फॉर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड फॉर पुट वी हैव पुट मैथड एज वेल सो रेस्ट एम्प्लॉयड इज यूज टू हैव कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन टू डिफरेंट माइक्रो सर्विसेज एंड इन द लाइक इन दीज मैथड यू हैव टू पास द यू आर एल एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट विच यू वॉन्ट टू सेंड और यू विच यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव फ्रॉम दैट लाइक कॉल सो दीज आर द थिंग्स यू नीड टू रिमेंबर वाइल आंसरिंग दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ आई विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच इज वॉट अ राइट अ एस क्यूएल क्वेरी राइट अ एस क्यूएल क्वेरी टू फाइंड द फिफ्थ हाइएस्ट सैलरी तो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन एस क्यूएल क्वेश्चन एंड टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक यू नीड टू हैव लाइक अ क्लियर a uh, picture that uh, how you can find the fifth highest salary so how you can find the nth highest salary to be exact so if you have like a uh, knowledge about uh, how to find the nth highest salary you can answer uh, for fifth highest salary for fourth highest salary for sixth highest salary anything can be asked and you can answer any of the question so i will just quickly write the query uh, to find the nth highest salary and then you will get an idea okay so this is the query to find the fifth highest salary in here i am like uh, and this is a generic query if you want to have sixth highest salary na so you just uh, keep it sixth year sixth year so you will find a sixth highest salary and this is based on a row number there are other method as well which you can find on the internet and uh, you must prepare for this question because it's a very very important question and it has been asked many times in any like many interviews so make sure you prepare for this question very well okay and the next question we have is do you know about union what is union so union comes into picture uh, when we talk about tables and when when we talk about databases and union are related to the sql so union operator is used to combine the result set of two or more select statements all right so uh, let me just give you an example quickly so that you can understand what is union okay so here i am like uh, having two tables select statement from two tables and then i am having union all syntax and that that will give me result that will uh, like uh, uh, duplicate all the uh, like allow the all the duplicate value and it will like uh, give me result which combines the result from these two different select statements okay and uh, now we have a final question which is in your project uh, do you have a sprint res a retrospective meeting so now what is spring retrospective meeting so if you are familiar with the agile model if you are following uh, agile methodology you are familiar with the spring retrospective meeting so it's a recurring meeting uh, in which we discuss what went well and what can be improved in a sprint so uh, this give this gives a chance to recover from any sprint and prepare for the next sprint as well so with the this meeting you can make each sprint more uh, like streamlined and successful from the last one so this is the like uh, this uh, in this way you can answer this question and uh, this is very short uh, video because uh, like uh, i have discussed the interview questions which i was not able to discuss in the last video because of the time crunch and thank you so much you watched this video till till here make sure you like this video if you like these questions and uh, uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the other channel as well thank you so much for watching this video bye bye